What is going on, guys? We are back playing some more Enigmatica 6, and today we're finally going to be getting Creative Flight. Now, this has been an extremely long time in the making. If you've been keeping up with the series, you'll know that the last three episodes or so have pretty much solely been dedicated to progressing through Pneumatacraft, which is when we set up all this cool stuff in the room down here with the end goal of making the pneumatic armor. And all this stuff is pretty much required to do just that. And so we are finally at a point today where we can start crafting it, make the necessary upgrades, and end off the episode with creative flight, which will be very fun. Now, there's a ton of other upgrades that can be put into this armor. It's super cool. You can make it very, very powerful compared to a lot of other kinds of armor. It's just going to take some investment. So today we're going to focus on just getting creative flight. And then over time in the future, we'll upgrade it more. That said, creative flight in and of itself is not that easy to get. So if we take a look at the recipes that we need, obviously we know the pneumatic armor recipe is going to be very similar for each piece. We've gone over this in pretty much every single episode so far where we've been working on it. But this is just going to be the air canisters and printed circuit board. We've got everything we need for that finally. That's what we've been working on for three episodes now. So it's going to pay off with making that. The problem is the upgrades that we need to get creative flight that go into the pneumatic armor are going to be a little bit more difficult. So they are going to be the jet boot upgrades that you see right here. And you can see there's not one tier. There's not two, not three, not four, but five different tiers of jet boot upgrades. Now, we don't need to go all the way up to tier five to get the base creative flight, but if we want the best and fastest and most powerful creative flight that there is, we need to get up to tier five. From my reading so far, I think we get creative flight at tier three. I think we get even better creative flight with a hover mode and stuff at tier four. And then finally, tier five is going to be the fastest, most effective one that we can get. So that is what we are going for. We're not going to accept anything less than perfection. And so if we take a look at what we need to craft this, you can probably immediately see what the problem is here. So we need Elytra, we need Dragon's Breath, and we need End Rods. Now, the Vortex Cannons are just more crafting of stuff from Pneumaticraft. That's easy. And so we need to take a little bit of a trip to get this Elytra and this Dragon's Breath. And we're going to do that in just one swoop. We're going to go to the end. We're going to kill the Ender Dragon, which I have not done yet. We're going to get the Dragon's Breath. We're going to find an end city. We're going to find some elytra and then we will be good to go. Now, obviously, that is simplifying what's probably going to take me a decent amount of time to do, but we're not going to do it all on camera today. I'm going to do a little montage of all of it so you get to see what's going on with the overpowered gear and stuff that we have. It should be very easy, but you don't have to sit through the entire version of me doing what would basically take a speed runner, maybe like 15 minutes to do, but will actually end up taking me like an hour or more. So. I'm going to start things out by kicking off the montage pretty much right now. And you guys will get to see me traveling to the stronghold and doing everything from there until we return back to the base with everything in hand that we need to craft this upgrade.
Okay, guys, so we are back, and man, that was a lengthy journey. It took pretty much an hour like I expected, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think it took a little bit longer than expected to find the end city and the ship and actually get the elytra from it. Not sure if that was because of the biome mods that are in here, because there were so many different biomes in the end that I've never seen before. And so I don't know if that kind of overrides the generation of them, but it took me a very long time to even come across one. I traveled so far from the first island that we came to. So in the end, I got lucky and I found two different waystones on one of the islands randomly. And I put one down and were able to, at the cost of a couple extra levels, instead of the regular one when you're teleporting in the same dimension, I was able to teleport all the way back home. So I didn't need to make the long trip all the way back to the end portal. So now we are here and you can see my inventory is an absolute mess. Now we've got a couple cool things just from killing the dragon, the dragon sinew for Tetra. I don't really know what I'm gonna use that on yet, but we have the elytra. We also got this, which is the epic shader grab bag from immersive engineering. So if we ever get into that and we wanna use this to color some of the tools, I think we can do that. Very cool stuff. We also, if we take a look at my backpack because I didn't have enough room in my inventory, we got a lot of other cool stuff. Now I grabbed a couple things of end bottle air, uh, end air bottles for Batania in case we ever get into that. But really, I want to dump some of this random junk in there that we're not going to be using right now. And I want to pull out a couple of the cool little trinkets that we got. So a lot of these were in the chests inside the ship. And so if we take a look, we got cloud in a bottle. We got running shoes. And we got a flame pendant. And I think that's all the ones that we got in here. Unless I'm missing one of them. I think that's all of them. But so if we take a look at these, they're cool little upgrades that we can put on. So the flame pendant is a necklace that has a chance to light the attackers on fire. So if we slap that in here, very nice. We're looking pretty sweet, right? We're looking like, uh, I don't even know who it was. That was the old like rapper that always had the huge clock around his neck um, on his necklace. I have no idea who that was, but uh, yes, yeah, so we look like him, and so I don't think that's a huge boost because we're not really fighting guys very often, but either way, it looks cool. The next one, though, is running shoes, so we're basically in Pokemon, and our mom has just handed us these running shoes after, like, the first gym before we walk out into the next area, so they increase our movement speed and step height while sprinting. That's a pretty sweet one. Now, I wanted the kitty slippers, but we don't have those yet. So for now, we're going to have these on. And the last one is the cloud in a bottle, which allows us to double jump. Now, I think that's really cool. Is that it goes right in there? OK, I guess that was the right slot I clicked on. And we get a nice little cloud sitting on our belt. So if we take a look, that's actually pretty sweet. And can we notice? a? Oh, my gosh. Wow. You actually sprint a lot faster. That's crazy. Okay. Well, those are pretty sweet. So just nice little bonuses we got totally unrelated to what we're doing this episode that I wanted to quickly go through with you guys because I think they're pretty dang cool. But now we need to get into the crafting for today's episode because we've done all this not modded Minecraft stuff and I guess some modded with the stuff that we found, but really it's not the stuff that we wanted to do today. So I am going to open up and dump like all this stuff, even the, the stuff that we need for today's episode, I'm going to dump that into our system because we're going to be doing some crafting with it and we can just pull it from there then. So I think that should clear it out pretty nicely for the most part. Uh, we don't need our bow again either. So that's fine. So the first thing we need to do is craft up all of the pneumatic armor itself. So we're going to have to craft up the compressed iron version of the armor, which needs some leather version of the armor too. So we're going to have to do some crafting with the leather and I'm hoping I have enough. So we'll make every single piece really quickly in here, get the leather armor and that just went right back into our system. No, it didn't. Okay. It went down into my hot bar. I'm not used to having all this room open down here. That's really weird. Okay. So there we go. We got all those. We can just dump those into the system craft up this because we should have more than enough compressed iron in there to do all the crafting for this and this armor is really not that impressive so no real reason that you would what did i just craft crop support oh no that's what i get for shift clicking what a waste what a waste man that is uh I'd say that's one for the blooper reel, but that's just going to stay in the regular video for now. Um, okay, so the next one is making the pneumatic helmet. So we need air canisters, which need pressure tubes, and we need a lot of these. So we're going to need 
What is that? Seven for that. How much do we need for the rest of these? Another seven for that. We need four for that and four for that. Okay, so we need to craft, what is that, eight? Uh, it's gonna be 22, I think, if my math is right. We'll see if my math is totally horrible or slightly okay. So how many of these can we craft? I don't think we have enough pressure tubes to make 22 of those, we do not. Okay, well, that's a little bit easier then. So we have 14, which means we need to make some extra pressure tubes. And I'm hoping we have all this stuff needed. We should, it's just compressed iron, right? Yeah, okay, so there we go. And then we will make, there we go. Oh, that was actually, I didn't realize we actually, <laughs> we had the perfect amount. I don't know why I didn't just shift click that there. Okay, so now we can make the pneumatic chest plate. We can make our pneumatic helmet. And I think we're gonna be short one printed circuit board and we're gonna have to make it. So we'll do pneumatic leggings. And finally, yep, so we're short one printed circuit board, which means we need a transistors and capacitors. And so for those, it's plastic sheets, copper and slime. And for the other ones, I think it's gonna be the same thing except redstone torches. So we, <laughs> we have two slime balls left. Did, did we need it? How many do you get? You get one. Okay, so we have the perfect amount of slime balls left for that. And then we need redstone torch. And we're gonna need two of those. And then we need some copper. We can do copper or gold, but we'll do copper. So I think we needed two and two and then three and three, I think if I'm correct, and then do we have plastic sheets? If not, we can easily make it. We have one, so we're gonna need a bucket because we're gonna need to make some plastic. And we should be good then. Okay, so come over here and let's make some plastic. So we're gonna need three more sheets of this. There we go. Okay, I'm sure we'll need more plastic in the future too, so I should probably bucket out some of that LPG and put it in there and let it process, but either way, now we need to, I don't know if we can dump all of these in there. You know what? Let's do a test. Let's see if I just dump all of this stuff in there. Will it be able to actually craft what I want? Can it like mass craft it? Like, will it register in here what I'm trying to craft and pop both of them out? Or is it going to have an issue? Okay. So it's doing the slow process of inserting these in here. I don't know if it's going to have an issue because I put multiple in. I feel like it should be fine but maybe it won't. And then I don't really know what we do because everything's then in there. So we'll have to see. I might've just made a huge mistake with this. Did I? Okay, I might've made a huge mistake with this. Cause it's, oh, wait, it put something else in. It was just taking a really long time. Okay, so crafted one. No, what's the recipe for these? Oh, that was the PCB recipe. No, one of those was the recipe for the PCB. I messed up the recipe. It was the one I didn't look at. It was redstone dust, not a redstone torch. No. Okay, well, it wasn't the one with slime in it. Okay, well, we need a little bit more plastic then. Whoops, that was a mistake. Okay, so we still have some in there. What? Okay, what if we just put like two pieces of redstone dust in there. What happens? Do we have the stuff in there needed to make it? Let's take a look at this. The transistor needs one, one. So we might only get one out of here. And then we need another three of the copper and another plastic sheet. So we do the plastic sheet. Okay. And then we need the copper. And we only have two. So we're going to have to... I think it was three for this. Was it three? I am so, so bad at this. Where is it? It's right up here, right? This one, transistor three. Okay. Put them in there and get me my transistor out. And then I can craft this. And then we then we move on to the upgrades. So, <laughs> um, but let's get this. This is such a cool machine. There we go. Transistor. Boom. So I think we have the unassembled PCBs in here. So we should be good to just... Craft this in there, nice, PCB, pneumatic boots. Are the compressed iron boots, they're in here. Okay. Oh, okay, now all the armor is done. Quest complete. Which quests are those? Oh, they're these quests right here. So they're from a completely different quest tree. So we can get a bunch of rewards for those, nice, nice. 
My stomach just growled. I hope you guys did not hear that on the video, but you probably honestly did. I have not had lunch yet, so you probably heard that on the video. I apologize, but... Uh, oh, so we got some volume upgrades and some speed upgrades. Nice. And we got some advanced PCBs. Nice. Very fancy. And now we take this off. I'm looking swagging with these shoes and that necklace. I'm looking baller, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's... Whew, I'm looking pretty sweet. Okay, so we got the compressed Iron Man achievement, but it doesn't look super fancy. But from what I have read, we can actually color this with multiple different colors and customize it and all of that cool stuff with like a main color and a side color and all of that. But really, we are here. My stomach keeps growling. Oh, my God. Um, really, we are here because we want the upgrades in this. So. I don't know if there's any additional quests that we've completed here for this armor. It doesn't look like it, but it looks like you can. You need to pressurize the armor, and then you also need to put it in here to put the upgrades in. So this is pressurizing, and I wonder if we, if we have our armor here, is it just so that you can take it off? Yeah, I guess, and then move it in here. So we can now manage the upgrades from in here, and you can see the different upgrades that you can have. So we have the volume upgrade, life upgrade, armor upgrade, flipper upgrade, radiation, jet boot, speed, dispenser. So all these different upgrades in here, and we're really only worried about the jet boot upgrades. So we're gonna pressurize the boots because we want these to be the ones that we're gonna use in today's episode. And the pressure is super low. Is it? Is it super difficult? Oh, it's because there's no no coal in these, because again, I haven't automated it yet. Okay, we want these to pressure up, so let's hope this will do the trick here. This is not running. Someone got really mad that I had the heat sink placed a different way. I'm pretty sure this still works totally fine. Okay, that's a, a no temperature because the pressure went down, right? Um, but I switched it for them. I put it on the direct side of this. It still worked the same, I think, if it was on the ground there. But I moved it for them because it was bothering them, so yep. But now these should be pressuring up a little bit more. Nice. We can always add in, I think, a speed upgrade to these if we want it to actually go up faster. So we can always do that. It's gonna, it's burning through that so fast. But we can always do that if we want to kind of help speed up the uh, the pressurizing of this. Uh, but now we need to make the upgrade. And so this might be painful. So I might just do it off camera because we're gonna be doing a lot of crafting today, I guess. But the upgrade itself in the one I want to do on camera is the first one, because this one is going to require advanced pressure tubes and advanced air compressor, which requires advanced pressure tubes. And to make these, we need an assembly controller. Now, it needs a block of compressed iron and then this whole setup to make it. So you can either use 20 pressure chamber valves to make eight with a laser program or the drill and laser program just needs a block of compressed iron. So I don't think I have any blocks in here, but we can just easily make one. I keep turning all the blocks that I get into non blocks. But if we dump it in here and then we take out this program and put it in here, it should be good to start working and we'll get out all the ones that we need. So they should only be required for the first upgrade. And then everything after that is just kind of going to be miscellaneous stuff. So we'll also need the vortex cannons and whatnot. But I wanted to make these three things on camera because I think it's actually pretty interesting. So we're also going to need a regular air compressor. So what other quests do we have done in here? Oh, the challenges. Okay, well, we can finish that. Where is there? Where is air coming out of this? Oh my gosh, this is too fast. It's too fast. <laughs> this can't this can't pressurize fast enough. There we go. Now let's transfer pressure in there faster with some speed upgrades. I was so concerned. It's this it's the security upgrade so it didn't blow up. Oh my god, that's what it was. Okay. Well, this thing's going a little bit slow because I took the speed upgrades out of this to use them in something else. I I don't know what I used them in. But I used them in something else. I don't know. But uh, once this finishes, we'll be good to go there. And uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is go and we'll make the air compressor, which is what I think I was going to do before that scared me. Is it over here anywhere? Uh, let's see. It's got to be somewhere in here. I'm trying to find it without having to click on it. To there we go. Air compressor, pneumatic tube. Get that air compressor. 
We make that, and now we have everything we need once we get the advanced tube to make the advanced air compressor. So we're just kind of waiting on this thing, and it's pulling it up, right? It should be ready to take it out. Nice, good. These are getting pressurized. Man, these take so long to pressurize. Okay, so drop it in here. Drop it off. Why isn't it letting it go? Did I need to not access the chest? Okay, so we now have these, which means that we can dump these in here and we can craft our advanced air compressor. There we go, very nice. And now we are going to cue a crafting montage. Actually, we're not gonna do a crafting montage. We already did a montage this episode. So I'm just gonna craft up all the stuff that we need to get the upgrades, to get to the highest tier, and then we will be back. Okay guys, so we are almost done here, but I wanted to jump back for the final stage of it. So these were a little bit more annoying to craft than I thought, but that was because I didn't realize that every single one needed two vortex cannons. So I kept crafting them every single time and it was a little bit annoying, but here is the final upgrade. Now we're on tier four, trying to get to tier five. We have the elytra, we have the dragon's breath, the end rods we need to craft. So I got the stuff for those. I cooked down the chorus fruit. We now have the popped chorus fruit. We got the four end rods. Those are also useful in Tetra setups, I think, too. Now, the concerning thing to me is I have the elytra, okay? So it's saying I don't, and I'm going to manually drag it in there. But if this is an issue, I'm going to cry. So I don't know what could possibly be wrong with it. Uh, it was enchanted when I got it, so I disenchanted it, still saying it's not right. So let's just hope it's a little bit buggy. Okay, it is. It was. Okay. Whew. That almost ruined my entire day. But there we go. We have the tier five upgrades. And now I guess we have a quest done somewhere. So in here, jet boot upgrade. We got the legendary box. What'd we get from that? 32 programming puzzle pieces. Uh, cool, I guess. I, I still don't understand how to use those. But now we should be good to take these boots here, which are decently pressurized, at least I think. I don't, I don't know where 4.1 bar sits on these. That might be basically nothing, but I'm hoping that's at least decently pressurized. You can add like volume upgrades in and stuff from what I've read to allow more air in there. So right now it looks like they're a little bit under 50% pressurized. I don't know. It looks like they can go up even to 20 maybe from where how this is depicting it. I'm not sure, but either way, we'll just have to kind of experiment and see. So the jet boot upgrades, we're going to put those in there. They should be good to go in there now, I think. I think that's all we do. We now take them out. It says upgrades installed. We can take these out. We can slap them on. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's We're powering up. Oh, yeah. That's I like that. That's pretty sweet. It's like you're, you're powering up. You're getting ready. That's good stuff. Okay. So now how do we use this? That's the question. Okay. That was our double jump. So there's probably got to be a key for this. I think it said something like control X. Okay. So that is how we access these different settings in here. So there's hot keys and there's the colors. Oh, we can, can we change those in here? We don't have to dye it. That'd be cool. Let me know what colors you guys think the armor should be. I'm curious, but other than that, that's not really what we're doing right now. So we have the jet boots. And if we're looking, enable jet boots, right click, bind key or mouse button. Okay, so what key do we want this set to? I have no idea because every key is taken by something. What if I do like Z? Okay, so this is set to Z. Enable builders mode, which is more creative flight. Uh... Well, do we actually want, what if we do the enabling of them and then enable builders mode, maybe like control Z, control Z, enable flight stabilizers. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I'm probably going to want these always on ideally. So maybe like alt Z. Okay. Well, alt Z brought up my recording software. So what about shift Z? Okay. Enable smart hover. Hover mode is only engaged when the thrust key is pressed, not when the player jumps or steps off an edge. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, these are there's so many settings for these. Oh my god. Okay, so these are all enabled though. So I'm assuming we have step assist. So I don't really care about that. Core components. Show pressure. New, okay. So, whoa, that's a lot of settings. Okay. Um. Whoa. Okay. 
I'm feeling that. Whoa, we can still break stuff really quick. Okay. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. And then we just kind of like... Flying around there? That's pretty cool. Okay, now how much pressure did we use there? Not that much. I mean, it's, it's a little bit. But from what I've read, there's actually something that we can put down that charges us like wirelessly or something. It also does a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It started with an A. So if we just like type in A here, well, of course, everything has an A in it. Um, is it like Arial? Arial interface. Uh, well, we have another star. We have most of these things. What does this do? By using an advanced technology which compresses items so that they become as small as atoms, this machine can use a player's inventory as its own. This means you can hopper items in and out of the machine and they will be added or removed to the inventory of the player who placed the block. Sparter ensures that methods like drones and or logistic frames could be used to keep the player's inventory supplied with 64 torches, for example. Now, I feel like I read that you can also like pressurize your stuff consistently with this, which is pretty cool. Let me see what we need to craft this real quick. So it's just the omnidirectional hopper. So if we make this and we just place this down, that's another quest complete. What quest is that? That's the one right here. Sorcery's Delight. Outlaw and Leech. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. So if we put this down somewhere, uh, I guess we're just hooking up everything over here. We're going to need a, oh, like a pressure system just for this. But if we put this here, okay, so it gets a bunch of pressure. It's got my face on it. Is this pressurizing my boots or something? How does this work? So there's a problem. Apply at least 10 bar. What? So I'm assuming it can charge stuff in my inventory if I give it power. You know what? This will be for either an off-camera or another episode. Uh, I'm pretty done with Pneumaticraft for now. I want to move on to some other stuff. I actually want to do Create next episode because I want to make a bread farm that makes uh, it, the dough, it's wheat farm, into dough, into bread, and that stuff. Maybe some other kinds of food. But I think that'd be a fun thing to do with Create. Mess around with it to get a food source because we need that because I'm running out of food sources. But I'll either do this off-camera, but from what I have read, in here because again still going in blind the aerial interface is able to charge stuff it's able to give us things all of this wirelessly and that would be really important to me from what i've read because you can kind of end up in a bad spot if you're flying around and you run out of air pressure and it doesn't seem as readily available or as high a quantity that you can put in this maybe with the volume upgrades it is but as you would normally have with like electricity or something so I'll pretty much try and fully upgrade this armor. We'll see how it compares throughout the series to other types of armor. Since everyone was telling me that it was kind of weird I wasn't going to do the mechanism armor or something. We're going off the beaten path, guys, as we always do. Trying something new out. Should be cool. Should be fun. But that's probably going to be where we call it for Pneumaticraft for now. And then if you guys want to see more of it, then we can absolutely do that. But... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this entire exploring of Pneumaticraft. It was a ton of fun for me. Sorry if today's episode was a little bit of boring. It's a lot of crafting and all that stuff to get it done, but it had to be done. We have creative flight now, which is really cool. I appreciate you guys bearing with me when it comes to like all the exploratory stuff that we've been doing recently. And I will say for the final time, let me know if you guys enjoyed that style. If you want to see it for other mods that I don't really know about and want to explore all that good stuff. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode overall. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on a future one as they come out every Monday and Tuesday, every Monday and Thursday, I should say, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wish it was every Monday and Tuesday. Uh, well, I guess that might be a little bit too much for me. I wish it was every day, honestly, but that's never going to happen until I'm not working a regular job, and that probably will never happen. So unfortunately, it's only every Monday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but still subscribe so you don't miss out, and I will talk to you guys later. Wow, okay, so I guess I got lucky. That was really easy to find. Seriously, one eye in here? Isn't that like really unlucky from every speedrun video that I've seen? Nice, Dragon's Breath acquired. Are they not dead yet? What? Oh my god, okay. We finally found the thing.